Hi again everyone, Ken from Whittling Woods back again doing a little uh, 10 minute Tuesday uh, whittle and this one's going to be uh, a little little tiki character. We're using koa wood here and um, just going along there is no pattern on, on these carvings. Pretty straightforward right here I'm, I'm just putting the uh, bottom of what will be the nose uh, just stop cuts cutting up to it. Extending the line downward on the side here, which I will eventually um, make into, uh, I guess this will be an eye area when all is said and done. Like I said, there really isn't um, uh, a pattern you have to go by on these. You can pretty much carve them any way you want. Um, that's what's the, the, it's the nice thing about these carvings here. It's very free form and you really can't mess them up. They're, they're pretty straightforward to do. So again, just making some stop cuts here. Uh, just designs. These are very abstract figures. Um, top of the head, the crown, whatever you want to call it in this regard. Uh, just adding some design features in there. Here I'm forming uh, which, uh, what will uh, be the uh, top of the mouth. It's going to have an open mouth and uh, grinning with uh, some big teeth in there. So we're just going to form a line right across the whole piece on both planes here. Like so. Stop cuts, cut up to it. There you go. We're going to flatten this out a little bit. This is, like I said, it's going to be teeth, so we want to kind of recess it in a bit. Here we'll do the um, bottom lip. Again, same same idea, just stop cuts, cut, uh, cut right up to it. Both sides. And then we'll go back in here and... Um, after we get these uh, stop cuts done, we'll flatten it out a bit. There we go. Just because it's going to be teeth, so we want them recessed, uh, you know, slightly behind the lips. Uh, in some respects, they don't really need to be. You can also make these where the teeth kind of butt out a bit more. That uh, again, there there really is no no uh, no design you have to follow. You can sort of go with the flow on these. That's what makes them real fun and, and uh, carving, a little fun carving to do. You can, you can really just go at it with these. Here we'll put the uh, separation for the teeth. Again, just going to be a stop cuts right across. Separate the upper and lower teeth. We'll cut up a little bit from the bottom. Have the bottom teeth slightly behind the upper teeth. And then uh, right here, just uh, forming the uh, bottom portion of uh, which will eventually be the his uh, his lower lip. It's kind of a it'll kind of be big and protruding to some extent. Th this uh, design that I'm doing here it's it's based somewhat on a design from a uh, a, a tiki that I purchased in Hawaii uh, from a uh, it's a street carver. And um, it's it's not in any way uh, the form uh, the same. His, his was much larger, about 12 inches, um, and round. But uh, and they used just uh, uh, gouges and and chisels to do all their carving to hold the piece between their 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 feet. It's pretty amazing to watch them do it. But just sitting here in lovely Grafton, Vermont. Not quite tiki land, but um, having fun on a rainy day, carving a little tiki. Here we're forming just um, the bottom 
of, uh, of the figure, which uh, in an abstract way will be arms and, and legs. Again, this is very abstract. You have to sort of, you know, you, you can make them more, uh, more realistic and form out arms and legs, um, but I, I, I kind of think the abstracted version is, uh, is really fun to do. Um, and a lot easier in some ways too. You, you really can kind of go with it. So again, just stop cuts. We have some design features um, in here. Uh, let's see, kind of, I want to deepen this a bit more. And then um, I'll cut in a little. It's a little pattern over here. Kind of indirectly forming what, what you could consider the arms of the, of the figure. Again, keep in mind, very abstract. This will be the sort of the belly. I'm going to put a little cut in here, a little stop cut, and then I'm just going to kind of notch up on either side of it just to kind of recess that in a bit. I mean, the larger carvings, they decorate these with uh, quite a bit more embellishment. Uh, but on small figures like this, you, you know, you, you, you don't have that, that much leeway to do that. Well, here we'll separate the teeth. Just uh, three cuts right down. Um, and then we'll come back and um, just divide them out a little bit. I'll, I'll take off a little wood when I'm done here um, to round the... the the teeth out just a bit. Again, just straight cuts in. You can make them sharp, round, take out a few teeth, whatever you want to do. Actually, another fun thing to do is uh, to make him uh, have his tongue sticking out, which is, which is kind of fun. Uh, but uh, it takes a little bit longer. So for 10 minutes, uh, for 10 minute carving, I might be asking too much. Here I'm just rounding out the uh, the f the form of the teeth a bit, just going around the cuts I made and and removing just a bit of wood, uh, softening that edge, make the teeth look just a, a bit rounder. That's all. Just kind of go through here and, and and do that. There we go. We're just about got them all, kind of rounded off. Uh, I'll go back and I'll, I'll clean up some of the uh, any of the fuzzies that might have been created by doing that. Um, I'm gonna flatten the, these teeth out here a bit. Just there you go. Um, just, let me level this out a bit here. And let's see here. What do we need? Uh, well, you know what? We'll cut up the nose a little bit. There we go. On both sides, just going to bring it up a little bit, just to, just to round out the bottom of, of the nose a bit more. And then I'm um, going to add a little design feature on the top of the head, the crown that he may be wearing. Uh, maybe add some little eye cuts here. Let's stop cut. Um, these are going to be like little chip cuts. So I'm going to make a stop cut, and then I'll go down. Um, I, I'll do it on the bottom over here and then uh, chip it out a bit. It'll just take out a little chip there which will give the illusion of, uh, of an eye. Let me do the same thing on the other side over here. Again, just, just a little chip cut. Three, three triangle. Basically taking out a little triangle. I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. I think it came out too small. And uh, we'll just add a little bit of um, abstracted design features around the top here. 
and we're getting pretty close to calling this one good. And again, uh, I'm not following it. I'm just winging this as I go here. It's, it's, you don't have to, you can add as many or as, as, uh, as few as you'd like. And that's about it. Okay, there you go. Quick little tiki carving can be done in just about 10 minutes. I just went back and uh, just cleaned up some of the little fuzzies. And uh, he's, he's all set. You can use them for, uh, I guess you can make a necklace out of them. I'll put them on a keychain. They're kind of they're kind of cool. Uh, a lot of things you can do with them, and they're fun and easy to do. There is, like I said, there's no uh, pattern. You can you can kind of make them any way you want. I've made a bunch of them over over the years in, in different uh, different poses, and they're kind of fun to do. They're real easy. Uh, you can use any type of wood. I happen, like I said, to be using the the co wood here. Um, and uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Happy whittling. Take care.